We're now going to take some time to take a look at some of Bootstrap's responsive helpers. And the first helper we're going to look at is to do with responsive images. So I've got the template open and I'm just going to delete the H1 tag that we've got in here and add the container and the row as usual. Now as we've got the container and row in place, I'm going to add in another column. And now as I've got my other column in place, I'm going to add inside here a well. So there's nothing here that we haven't seen already. We've got our container. Inside the container, we've got a row. The container is centering the row in the middle of the document and the row is holding a column. Inside the column, we've got a well. And inside of here, I'm now going to add an image. I add the image tag as normal. We'll save that and take a look at it in our browser. And as you can see, the image is completely unresponsive. We can see where our well is ending because of the gray box. And that's the purpose of putting the gray box around it. But as it stands, this image doesn't have any responsive features about it. If it was responsive, it'd be responding to the size of the column this is in and would therefore be shrinking back to fit inside that column. And if we resize, we can see no matter what happens to that column, our image always stays exactly the same size. So it's breaking the layout. And obviously we don't want that to happen. Let's go back into our code editor and take a look at what we can do to fix that. So inside here, I'm now going to add a class to this. And my class is going to be img-responsive. So what that does is add a responsive element onto this particular image. So if I now save this, go back into my browser and view this and instantly we can see our image is fitting inside of that column. Hence why I made quite a small column here so we could see it in action. And we can see it scales up to fill as much of the column as it can at this point, but it doesn't go beyond 100%. So at this point here, we've got a little bit of gray left over at this side. So it doesn't either stretch over 100%, but remains so that it responds to the smaller sizes of the container. So that's one of the responsive helpers that's available inside of Bootstrap, enabling us to make sure that our media to scale to the right width of the column in which it's placed in.